just walk into my hunting spot here and we got some elk tracks check that out you can tell they're elk tracks because they look a little bit more like like horseshoes kind of and they're a lot larger than a deer track you see i have a size 14 boot you check that out you see the size difference there so in this area i saw like 15 elk just uh two days ago check that out guys it's pretty cool so this is where i'm going to be this is where i'm going to be hunting this open field here this is where i saw the elk just two days ago on thanksgiving it was like 15 of them in this clearing here so i'm going to set up with my 300 wind mag over overwatch this uh opening here there's my dad heading to his spot down there he's gonna go into the woods we saw a bunch of rubs last year in this area there were like 10 rubs in just one small area deer rubs so he's gonna go check those rubs out and set up nearby those rubs further back behind the tree line here and I'm gonna set up somewhere over there in the middle of this field this is where I saw like 15 cow elk the other day I want to show you guys this huge pile of elk poop check this out there's my foot for comparison just a massive pile of poop Almost looks like bear poop, but it's not huge, huge pile of poop. Pretty cool. There's always something interesting here. A lot of this grass here, they like this grass. There's my dad He's setting his compass. It's so crazy the weather here, guys, because just a few days ago, there was like six inches of snow here. Now it's completely melted off. It's a typical Pennsylvania weather, especially in the fall and spring. It's uh, very up and down. So I'll just show you guys my rifle. Probably seen it before. Got my Ruger 300 Win Mag. Got the uh, Silencer Co. Omega 300 suppressor. It's just a gorgeous day. Gorgeous day today, guys. Check this out. Got more elk poop. Look at that huge pile of elk poop. Wow. It's just massive. Look at that. I have a size 14 boot. There's some more elk poop here. Check this out. These are like little little pellets. They're like the size of I would say like I don't know acorns. They look like acorns. That's how big they are. Wow. You can 
see they grazed this whole area down. You see how the grass is really low here. But then over there it's taller. So they grazed this little spot here. Grazed it all down like a lawnmower basically. A lot of gunshots, guys. A lot of successful hunters, it sounds like. Sun is coming up. Put some doe urine out. There's like a stump in the middle of the field there. I put a bunch of doe urine on a rag and I tied it to that stump there. The wind is blowing pretty good. It's like 5 to 10 miles an hour. So hoping it carries that doe urine into the woods. And You can see right there I put a little rag with doe urine on that little beach sapling. So I'm basically right on the edge of the woods here. Let me just show you guys. We got this, looks like a big elk trail here. See this? Looks like an elk trail, maybe a deer trail too. You can see it's, it's a good bit windy here. I'd say about five to 10 mile an hour gusts, maybe 15. So I already ranged out all the major terrain features here so I know what my uh, corrections need to be. The edge of this field is about 320 yards away and then across the other side of the field here is about 200 yards. So I got a 180 grain AccuBond in this rifle. This is my 300 Win Mag Ruger. So let's see what happens guys. My dad is down there deep in the woods. He's down down there. There's a stream over there. And there was a bunch of rubs there. So he's over there because he's got a shotgun. Slug slug gun. So shooting distances are shorter there. I figure me with the rifle and my long range long range shooting skills I can cover this field makes more sense for me to cover the field and he could stick to the thicker woods there's a lot of oaks here it's a great spot and as you see all the snow melted off it's just a couple days ago when I was here for bear season it was frigid it was like 20 degrees high temperature and 6 to 12 inches of snow and now it's going to be 50 today and completely everything melted off it's pretty insane it's the typical pennsylvania weather This elk trail guys look at this that's an elk trail look at how well worn it is you can see how they go right there my spot here guys I've got this little mound that I'm hiding behind So it's noon right now and no deer, haven't seen any deer, heard a few shots, bunch of shots actually, but I haven't seen anything here so I might actually uh, go deeper into the woods further away from this field and I might come back to this field at the end of the day. I have a feeling they come out in the evening or early morning to these open areas. That's usually what they do. So I think I'm going to go just deeper into the woods there. But I want to just show you guys this huge pile of elk droppings. Check this out. 
It's just insane. Look at that. That is definitely not a deer. <laughs> just huge droppings there. I haven't seen any elk today, but I'm sure they're going to be here probably later tonight. They like to come out into these open areas at night. They feel safer at night. So I'm going to head into the woods now, deeper into the woods, and see if I can't see anything. My dad hasn't seen anything, so it's quiet over by him. So we'll see what happens. Too bad I'm not hunting elk. So I'm in a good elk spot. There's some old elk poop right here. just a gorgeous day though it's like 50 degrees right now or 40s it's just absolutely gorgeous for end of November look at that blue sky it's just incredible look at that absolutely amazing wow All right, guys, so I'm gonna head deeper into the woods here. Explore this area a little. While it's midday, midday animals usually just bed down. So it's a good time to walk around, explore. I'm gonna set up down there somewhere deeper in the woods. I'm following this little elk trail here. See where it leads. There's a stream back there, so I might Set up by the stream. I got my compass bearing set. Anytime you do any kind of exploring like this, away from any kind of landmarks, you definitely want to use a compass. So I got my uh, compass bearing set. So let's see what happens, guys. Check this out, guys. Looks like a white tail buck was rubbing on this little sapling so hard that he just snapped it eventually check that out probably a smaller buck so let's push on This huge red oak, wow, massive red oak here. You can already start to see the stream down there. That's where we're gonna go. Oh, man, this red oak is just absolutely massive. I'm just gonna lean my rifle up against it so you guys can see how big this red oak is. It's just crazy. Check this out. I'm gonna lean my rifle against it so you guys can see the size difference. Look at that, it's just insane. That's gotta be at least two, 300 years old. Absolutely massive. All right guys, so there's the stream down there kind of a wetland big open area so I'm gonna see if I can cross it without getting soaked and I'm gonna set up on the other side of that little hill there I'm gonna overwatch this area 
It's a great area though. There's a lot of mature oaks here. Look at this one. A lot of mature oaks. So that's important for deer. Who knows, maybe we'll see some elk or something else here too. You can actually hear the stream from here. Steep. Yes, I think I'm going to sit up over there. I can hear the water. It's flowing nicely. Still some snow here that didn't melt off. A lot of snow. Here's our little stream. Check this out, guys. Look at that water. Man, that looks so clean. Wow. Just want to drink it. This looks so clean. Cold. Look at that. It's crystal clear water. So I came from there, look at the stream here, beautiful stream, widens over here, we got this big open area here, check this out, got a game trail here, I'm not sure what kind, if it's a deer or elk, can't tell. This is definitely a good area, so I'll probably find a spot somewhere over here to sit down. Got another game trail here. Can't tell if it's deer or elk. You can see it's pretty worn, pretty heavily used. Look at this isolation though. Literally nobody around. For miles. So I decided rather than sitting on this side of the stream, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back across over the stream and sit somewhere over here because then I can actually see the stream bottom and I can also see up here and I have uh, good coverage of this whole area. So I got a Another game trail here, look at this. So we gotta cross this stream now. It's just super clean water, guys. It's just crystal clear. Look at this. It's just incredible. Look at this.
Wow. Just crystal clear. Just gotta jump across. I hope the rocks are not too slick. Okay. All right guys, so I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half. Haven't seen anything so far. It's uh, 2 p.m. right now. So I'm debating actually leaving here maybe in an hour, hour and a half and checking out a new spot. But it's been a, a great day. Still had a great time so far so just show you guys the area again as you can see it's really big woods it's really really big woods i mean it's just miles and miles of wilderness here but i mean there's a trail right here you got a, a game trail here a deer trail there's actually a a rubbed up little hemlock there so they definitely come through here it's just I don't think they come through that often because they just have so much land to roam you know so all right guys so we're gonna head to another spot now because uh, I think this area is just too big and there's too many maples and birches over here. There's not a lot of oaks. There's a couple oaks mixed in, but it's mostly like maple, birch, beech, some white pines, some firs and stuff like that. So there's not a lot of nut bearing trees here that, you know, deer eat in the cooler months when the grass is dead and all the succulent greens are dead. So I don't think there's a ton of food here. So I think they just kind of pass through occasionally. So I think uh, we're going to leave a little early now. It's about uh, 2.30. So we're going to head to the car. And I'm going to check out another area. That's what we're going to do now. And head over there and spend maybe an hour in the woods there till sunset. So hopefully we'll see something. huge oak here guys let me show you so we got one massive oak here look at this it's actually like three oak trees that come out of one check that out look at this it's just insane it's like three three red oaks and they join together at the base and that base is like, I don't know, six feet across. But, you know, besides this one red oak, there's not a lot of oaks here. You see there's mostly like maples, beech, birch. See, like right here we got a beech tree. It's good for bears, but not so good for deer. And got some maples here, so it's not the best area for, for deer. But this tree is just insane. Look at that. I'm going to lay my rifle down so you can just see how, how big it is exactly. 
Look at the size of this oak. It's just crazy. There's my rifle. And that rifle with the suppressor is probably going to be like 40, 45 inches or so. So almost four feet long. And look at how massive this tree is compared to the rifle. It's just huge. Massive, massive red oak. This thing is probably at least 300 years old. It's pretty cool. Just give you guys another look. It's crazy how they just split up into like three different trees. It's like a trident almost. It looks kind of like a trident. Look at that. It's like a it's like a trident. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Wow, guys. Just want to show you this massive pile of elk poop. Look at that. It's just insane. There's my foot, size 14. Look at the size of that poop. That is huge. It's pretty crazy. Wow. Look at that. This massive pile there. You can see where they were bedding down right here, the elk. The flattened out area here. All right, guys, so we found another spot. There's a natural gas um, terminal here. And there's a big grassy area. I saw a lot of fresh deer scat, but also a ton of elk sign. There's actually a bunch of trees there that are rubbed up. But it's a nice grassy area here, as you can see. My dad's down there. So let's see what happens. Sun's already going down, so... Maybe we can get lucky. So we saw some fresh buck scat. And we saw some rubs here, so I think this is a good area. Might come back again if I don't shoot anything now. Lots of elk here too. Just want to show you guys these elk scrapes here. Elk rubs. Check this out. Look at this. You can tell it's from an elk because it's like five feet off the ground and then there's another one right there it's actually like several of them here here's another one check this one out right here that's what they do look how high off the ground that is and the size of this tree it's definitely not a buck and then there's another one right there look at this Another one right here. Look at that. Very high off the ground. It's pretty crazy. This little scrape right here. Looks like he was just starting on this one. It's pretty insane how they just walk through and scrape every tree they see. But that's pretty much it guys i think that wraps up my opening day of pennsylvania deer season didn't see, didn't see any deer except a doe on the side of the road uh no bucks but a lot of cool stuff all this elk sign is pretty cool got some more rubs here check this out Wow, look at that. That's a huge tree. Wow, look at that. How the elk just rubbed it up. It's probably a good six inch diameter, eight inch diameter tree. There's another one right here. Look, right here is another one. Look at that. 
just walking and scrubbing every tree he sees. It's pretty insane. Look at that. It's just crazy. Here's another one. <laughs> There's another one right here. It's just insane what they do. Wow. That's crazy. It's like a dinosaur. So stay tuned to my channel for more hunting content. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless. Don't forget the three P's. Prepare, practice, and persevere.